So, I haven't been making a Photographer's Friday for quite a while now, but today it is Friday and I have two things I really want to share with you. The first one is that over the years I have been trying so many camera straps and I haven't been able to find the one that, that I find is perfect for the way I use it. But I have been using one now for quite a while and that is absolutely awesome. So I want to share that camera strap with you and why I think it is just amazing. The second thing I want to share is a great announcement. It's a photo adventure in 2019 that I'm really looking forward to. And the reason why I want to share it with you is because you can actually join us on this great adventure. So yeah, let's get started with Photographer's Friday. So as I said, I have been trying a lot of different camera straps and um, the, the big problem I always have is that when I attach them to the camera and they, they sit here, Sometimes, like if you have seen my movies from a, from a Dauerfjell in Norway where I'm photographing the musk oxen in the winter, sometimes I just need to be able to take off my camera, put another lens and then go, and then I need the camera strap. But when I'm shooting with the 600, as I do here, I don't like the camera strap to hang around and, and, and you know, faff around in the wind. And it always takes a lot of time to, to like undo the camera strap. And then some solution, they go to the bottom of the camera and uh, the other one in, in the lens or, or in the camera itself. But I don't like that solution because sometimes when I'm shooting a smaller lens, I need to be able to attach the camera to the tripod and then this little screw is in the way. So the, the camera strap I like uh, to, to show and that I'm really, really happy about. And uh, uh, these of you who have been seeing all my other videos, they, they can see that, uh, that I'm using this a lot. Um, this one is the Peak Design camera strap and um, the, it's, I've, it's almost perfect. There's one little issue with this strap that I, that I don't like, but I, I'll come back to that later. What I do like is the fact that it's heavy duty. It's soft and it's nice and it's just really, really awesome. I know there's a, yeah, I got it in blue and then I kind of wanted to make it black because I ordered the wrong one and then I try to <laughs> make it black and then I regret and then I try to, yeah, anyway. So <laughs> I just got it in blue. The good thing about this camera strap is it comes with these small things here. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but you can attach them to your lens, to your camera. And the, the, the beauty is that I think it can take like 90 or 100 kilo or something. And then when I have the camera strap on, I just simply click it on here, click it on there. It's very fast, even with the big gloves that I sometimes use. And then I have the camera strap on. It's easy to adjust here, like so. And that is one of the things that I, that I don't like about the system. Uh, yeah, I'll come back to that. Now it's totally steady. And even though this one looks um, very, very thin, like they are rated to, uh, as I said, I think it's 90 or 100 kilo or even more. And that is awesome. Also because you don't want to carry around a 600 millimeter in the camera because that'll just put a lot of stress to the, to the connection. So then it's just simply to take it off put it on the lens and here and then you know you have it on the, the lens instead I mean yeah it's 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 so simple and it's so awesome and as I said even though with cold fingers it it's it's easy to to operate I can do it with my gloves like what I really like about this camera strap is the fact that it's made of plastic almost everywhere because I use it a lot like as I said this is a perfect camera strap for me maybe not for everyone but the thing I really like is that it's easy to attach and that everything is made of like a very hot uh, plastic except from this little one where I have put some gaffer tape around so because metal and cold fingers is just a bad combination in the cold because if your fingers are just a little bit moisture, they'll stick to it. Or even worse, like if you just hold it like this, you'll get really, really cold. But because of the plastic, it's really good. Up here it has some kind of um, 
again some rubber plastic thing that makes it really 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 uh, nice and and um, um, what to say a little more stiff here and then inside there's some kind of rubber that makes it really nice to hang around you, your neck so yeah this is really really nice the thing I don't like so much about this strap is the fact that when I have it around here and I have a, a heavy load this one tend to like you see tend to slide and also even if it just hang there and you're like you're moving and it touch your jacket like so it will slide I kind of wish there was a lock mechanism something that where you knew that when you put it in in place like let's say you have it here something where you can this one doesn't lock anything but if there was a little system that you could lock it so it would just stay where you wanted it to be that'll be make this even more perfect but this is definitely the one i'm going to uh, take on my expedition yes uh, next year and it's the one i'm using all the time i really really love it and yeah <laughs> These of you who uh, know me know that it's not a commercial of any way. I'm not like sponsored by uh, any camera strap factory. Or, or, uh, it, it's just be, I, I bought this uh, and I really love it. And I'm going to buy another one so I can have a spare in my back or attached to one of my lenses. I'm going to put a link to this uh, camera strap in the description below the video so you can go check it out yourself. The next thing I want to share with you is uh, the announcement. Um, I don't know if you saw my uh, video was that where I was f uh, faffing around in, in, in Crete uh, doing uh, uh, some kind of city landscape photography and I know a lot of you were wondering like what are you doing with Brandon van Son on Crete doing uh, street photography and stuff like that. Uh, and I said it was because I needed to meet a Brandon and we had something that we are going to announce together and that is now this announcement is going on. In December 2019 we are going on an amazing photography adventure to the Galapagos Island and it has been a dream. I've, when I was 18 years old uh, I saved money up um, and went to Ecuador with my camera for three months to, to give it the first uh, go into uh, being a professional wildlife photographer. And I was down there in Ecuador and I was so envious on all the people who went to the Galapagos but I just didn't have the money to go there. Then, uh, not uh, too long ago, Brandon asked me if I wanted to join him on this trip to uh, the Galapagos Island and from Galapagos go into the uh, Amazon uh, on an 11-day trip and it didn't take me long to say yes. So, basically, we're going to make this trip and we're going to bring uh, 12 people with us for like an awesome landscape, wildlife, jungle adventure and it's going to be great and the great thing about going there with Brandon is like I feel that we can actually cover up uh, two different things like where I'm most experienced in the wildlife uh, photography and I think I can maybe pass on a few tips there maybe I can teach uh, you a little about that uh, Brandon is very very good at landscape photography photographing people like all that kind of stuff so um, I think when like going together with Brandon will just like it'll it would be such a great combination and yeah I'm really really looking forward to it. You uh, can read much more about the, the trip uh, in the description below this video uh, that will lead you to Brandon's site where you can read all about the, 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 the adventure. And I just want to say once again that I am looking so much forward to this trip because the Galapagos Island is pr like I, I it's probably the place on earth where it's easy to get uh, good pictures of wildlife because it's just not shy uh, you'll be walking around there and you'll have wildlife on like everywhere and um, yeah I, I yeah I just can't wait because it's going to be great and then again I want to revisit the Amazon so we're also going there um, to, and it's, it's the biodiversity in the Amazon is it's it's crazy, it's out of this world, so uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, just a note, I think you should be quite quick to make the decision because um, I have the feeling that this one will sell out pretty fast. But um, yeah, have a look and uh, I hope uh, 
you and me will meet on the Galapagos Island. That will be great. So yeah, that was uh, all for today. Um, that was the two, uh, two tips or announcement. Um, and yeah, I'm here in Norway. Uh, as you can probably see behind me, there are beautiful landscapes. I'm actually here uh, with my mom uh, on a trip to visit some friends. And I'm going to photograph uh, some birds, some landscapes, and just do a little video and just have a cozy, relaxing weekend here. So uh, yeah, have a really good Friday and uh, see you out there. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, I know a lot of you have been asking about the, when is the next uh, video from Scotland coming up. And if everything works as it should do, it'll come up this Sunday. So uh, yeah, see you. <laughs>